in the section on atoms and molecules there's often confusion over how to count atoms and molecules and that becomes especially important when we get to balancing uh, chemical equations. So what I've got over here is a very simple chemical equation and it's got three examples or three common occurrences in these equations. So the first one over here is iron. That is very simply just an atom. As you can see it is completely on its own and would essentially just be a single atom on its own. Second we've got over here we've got hydrogen which as we can see is H2 which means that that is a diatomic element. Diatomic elements we know are elements that are always found bonded to themselves in nature and that forms a diatomic molecule that has two hydrogen atoms that are bonded to each other. And then finally over here we've got H2SO4, hydrogen sulfate or sulfuric acid, which as we can see is a compound or a molecule of that compound, H2SO4, which would look something like this. A single sulfur that is bonded to four oxygens and two of those oxygens are bonded to individual hydrogens. From this, we can now count the number of atoms or molecules present in each of these. For iron, we can very clearly see that there is only one iron atom present. And that is why, the same as in maths, when we write x, we are referring to the one in front of that x. So this just says that there is a single iron atom present. This two over here tells us that there are two hydrogen atoms present in this molecule. And the same notation applies here. This 2 after the hydrogen tells us that there are two hydrogen atoms present. There is no number there which refers to it being a 1, 1 sulfur atom. And that 4 there applies to the oxygen that tells us there are 4 oxygen atoms present. So that is how we count the number of atoms that are inside a molecule. Now when you look at a balanced equation as we have over here, you will see that not only are there numbers inside the molecules, but now we also have numbers that are in front of the molecules. Those are known as the coefficients, and they are used to count the number of that molecule. So when we see a 2 over here, what, tell, what that tells us is it says there are 2 of everything that follows. In the same way as this 3 in front of H2SO4 tells us that there are 3 hydrogen sulfate molecules. Again, if there is no number present, then we assume that that means that there is a 1 there, telling us there is one iron sulfate molecule. And this 3 over here tells us that there are three hydrogen molecules present, which then tells us that technically there are three diatomic hydrogen molecules, which means that there are then six hydrogen atoms. Just a final note on iron sulfate here. We can see that iron sulfate contains brackets inside it. What those brackets tell us is it says, firstly, from the start, we know that there are two iron atoms present. What this three tells us is the same as when we use brackets in maths, is it tells us that you must multiply everything inside the brackets by three. So what that tells us is that there are then actually three sulfur atoms and three times four 12 oxygen atoms present in that molecule.